Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Prudegovic. With special thanks to the European Commission, and in particular to the Commissioner for Research and Innovation, and the Directorate uh, General for Research and Innovation, and Education and Culture that support our conference, it is my pleasure to give the floor to the head of the European Commission representation in Latvia, Professor Ina Steinbuka. Vice Rector Mujniaks, uh, Professor Muravska, Excellencies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, distinguished guests of the conference. Um, I'm very pleased and honored uh, to address you today at the conference devoted to the Eastern Partnership. When seven months ago Vilnius hosted Eastern Partnership Summit, Nobody could have even imagined that we would be living in a totally different world. Today we are much more concerned about our region's security, peace, and stability. Eastern Partnership is about bringing Eastern European countries closer to the European Union. It aims at promoting democracy, rule of law, and supporting reforms. These are common European values that are needed to ensure peace and stability. This policy is not about creating new dividing lines. It is not a zero-sum game, as uh, Andrei Spildegovic just said, uh, and as somebody else at somebody else's expenses. It creates opportunities. The main principle of the Eastern Partnership is that it engages its partners on the basis of common values, the respect for human rights and freedoms, democracy, the rule of law, and free and sovereign choices of the countries to decide their orientation and direction. Nowadays, Europe is facing the most serious crisis in the end of the World War II and in the fall of Berlin Wall. This is a time to show an even stronger, more determined and resolute com commitment to the Eastern Partnership. And Europe is showing such commitments. As of end April, Moldovan citizens can travel to the EU without visas. In the coming weeks and months, the signature procedure of the association agreements uh, with Ukraine, uh, Moldova, Georgia, will be completed. Moreover, agreements with Georgia and Moldova will be signed in just two weeks. Recently, the Commission adopted a special support package worth 365 million euro for Ukraine to respond to the urgent need of stabilizing the country. And I'm mentioning only the small piece of the huge uh, support package which European Commission and member states are providing to Ukraine. Um, and 60 million for Georgia and Moldova to help them with the implementation of the association agreements. Signature and the consequent implementation of the association agreements will symbolize <coughs> I'm sorry, the irreversibility of political association and economic integration. The European Union is looking to make real progress on joint ambition with Armenia and Azerbaijan and can continue to work with Belarus. Political reforms are central to the successful transformation towards deep democracy. Cooperation between governments and civil society is necessary to establish independent judicial systems or introduce systemic anti-corruption measures both of which are necessary elements for long-term political development and sustainable economic growth. Similarly, free and fair elections are a central element of um, participatory democracy. Beyond support of the reform agenda, the EU is also offering a variety of instruments where a wide range of recipients from Eastern Partnership countries can participate and benefit. For example, Erasmus Plus. 
will provide more opportunities for students and staff of the universities uh, in Eastern partnership countries to study or train in the European Union and vice versa. The new research program Horizon 2020 is meant also for international cooperation projects, including with Eastern partnership countries. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish you very successful and enjoyable conference and very exciting voyage or journey from capacities to excellence. Thank you very much.